Here in America, there's no bigger sporting event than the Super Bowl. This Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs are taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. It's always an explosive game, with the Chiefs' third Super Bowl in four seasons and the Eagles' second Super Bowl in six seasons. Even if you aren't American or you don't share the passion for football, there are many lessons that traders can learn from the sport. Number one, preparation and planning. Just like a football team carefully strategizes and plans for the big game, traders must also prepare thoroughly and plan their trades. I do this in the beginning of every week. I research and prepare my fundamental outlook in a heat map, and I document all of my reasons here. Number two, adaptability and flexibility. In a fast-paced, constantly changing game of football, a team must be able to adjust the strategy on the fly. Similarly, traders must be able to adapt to market changes and adjust their positions accordingly. If my zip trades aren't working out, I'll be quick to cut losses and rotate into better positions. Number three, patience and discipline. Football traders must stay disciplined and focused, avoiding penalties and mistakes that can cost the game. In the same way, traders must exercise patience and discipline, avoiding impulsive decisions and sticking to their trading plan. That's why I only trade at precise times of the day when I know that my zip strategy has the best chance of working. Number four, taking calculated risks. Football teams sometimes take risks with a bold play, but only after carefully considering all options and potential outcomes. Traders should also be willing to take calculated risks when they believe that it will lead to potential gains. So when I have a strong feeling about a trade, I might take a bigger position. Number five, long-term vision. A Super Bowl's team's ultimate goal is to win the championship, not just one game. T traders should also focus on their long-term financial goals rather than short-term gains. Number six, take a break. Football traders know how important it is to take a break to prevent injuries and fatigue. For traders, always carve out time to step away from the market, regardless of whether you're trading well or you're trading not well and you need to clear your head and get a fresh start. My personal rules is to always go flat before the weekend so I can really relax and approach the new week with no attachments. If you want to learn more about Zip or get my trade ideas every day, there's a very special discount link in the description of this video. We've done very well, more than 4,200 pips last year, 10, sorry, 11 out of 12 winning months. Also, subscribe, like, comment, and smash that notification bell to never miss a post like this.